Um, getting into it, why we run stick. Uh, we feel the ball, anytime the ball can come out fast is a good thing. Um, it's a high completion percentage or should be. It is an easy read, quarterback friendly. Um, it's very good versus man. I can be good versus, it's very good versus zone as well. Uh, multiple formations and protections. I think this is probably the, the biggest benefit I see to running this particular concept is you can do it from 22 personnel, 13 personnel, 12, 11, 10, um, different formations, empty, three by one, two by two, uh, utilizing your tailbacks. Um, and then the, really the last bullet point, it's a great way to utilize the tight end. And, and here at Penn State, we're very blessed to have some talented tight ends. And uh, I, I think this is a great way to get them into the pass game and to get them touches. Um, really good plays on, on first and second down also can be a very good tool for, for third and medium as well. Um, so getting into it, this is a great example of being on time and you can see the quarterback's foot here, footwork here, reach one, two, three. And, and I like the tempo, our, you know, rhythm three would be one, two, three. And sometimes I clap, one, two, three. Okay, and then a feather three, I go one, two, three. Right, so right, left, right. One, two, three. And this is a great example of just outflanking the defense. We're not very good here. I'd like to see him pound through the outside shoulder of the corner. That's very, very, very important and a critical mistake right there we're making at Z. But this is, this is you know, a good example of making sure that that Sam defends the flat. And then there becomes a reaction drill to where you're now being able to create that cushion. So I think sometimes, you know, that drill may be a little bit unrealistic, but regardless, it has to be done. I understand that, but we want to push vertical and then we want to break away from leverage. Um, teach this back low pass as they get into this route to sink the pads and to get edges. Very important. We, again, just like the tight end running the stick, we want the will linebacker. We want him to turn. We want his hips to turn down the field so then we can break away from whichever side he's leaning. Um, so, he also has to be able to read the triangle, right? High safety, low corner, right? I don't want to turn out into that to that low corner cloud. Now we're still now tailback has the option. The single receiver needs to know that he's running the mandatory outside release to protect him. So our depth is around four to five. He feels cloud doesn't want to turn out into a cloud corner, right? So he's just going to hook up. The wheel should be vertical, sinking on the hash. Easy completion. Like to see the ball thrown right on him. Tight turn, drop the pads, secure the ball, get vertical. If the wheel works towards him, right, he can slant across his face. And if it's matched more like man and he feels like he can break out and stand a run, he can do that. So it's really a three way, a three way cut for him. So we're going slant side. I'm good going slant side unless rotation weak, right? So we got brackets. I like probably seeing hitch. You know, any anytime you're working up vertically and you feel a dude inside, you feel a dude outside, hitch up, pin them both down. I think it's one of those concepts, right? Everybody's going to see this concept and be like, okay, well, you know, we can build off this thing, right? Run your divot concept or your shallow concept, whatever you call it, high, low it. And now, now the wheel can't be right. I think all those things are great. Just got to pick and choose what matches your personnel, what your quarterback likes. Again, if we would have went stick, right? Give it to them. Make that dude turn and run he can't play the flat if his shoulders are scared square and he's shuffling and his eyes are on the ball right make that dude turn and run
Good ball, though. Great vision seeing the widest defender there.